you up, Buttercup? What's poppin', honey? Get in here. Let us talk about this beautiful week ahead. We got a full moon week, okay? And in this week, this week is really giving nothing will be the same, okay? This is a week where things are going to be catapulted, okay? Transformed, transmuted, okay? Integrated. This is a very, very powerful week. So uh, let's get into it. Let's see, we're gonna get into our astrology, what's happening in the sky. We're gonna pull some tarot cards, oracle cards, okay? And get into it. Let me know how you're feeling, where you're watching from, okay? And what is the vibe, okay? We're getting into our week ahead horoscope. So today is a a doozy. Today is a doozy, okay? Because we have Mars, the planet of action and war, okay? Conjuncting, with, uh, in a conjunction with Uranus, this planet of surprises, okay? So it's really possible that something is just completely not going in the way that you had wanted it to, okay? <laughs> Thank you for the badge, boo. Speaking blessings over you, okay? We got Orlando, New York, Florida, Chicago, Oklahoma, okay? We in the building. Rich Rising. Okay, so this is a big signature for this week, and we're going to continuously feel that. So you've already kind of got a taste for it around the weekend, and then we're going to be feeling it this week as well. Okay, so expect the unexpected with this week, okay? You could also be, like, if there's something that you're completely, you know, pulled and called in a direction, it's like last-minute changes, last-minute plans, okay, going down here. Because we are kind of like in this interim period where it's like you've been feeling, okay, that there needs to be a change, you know, that you need to activate this change, okay, that you need to, to choose differently, to move differently, okay, to act differently. And it's finally when Mars and Uranus coming together, you're going to be like, I'm ready, okay? The plot thickens. The plot thickens this week, okay, y'all? We are going to be having our full moon Reiki session on July, on Sunday, July 21st. We have the second full moon in Capricorn. Now, we already had a full moon in Capricorn um, a couple weeks ago, and now we're going to have another one. This one is a major one. It's at 29 degrees, okay, which is a critical degree in astrology as it is the last degree of any sign, and it will be next to... Pluto, the planet of transformation. So this week is going deep, okay? For our Reiki session for the full moon, you can secure a spot on my website, BigEmpressEnergyLLC.com, okay? We're cutting cords, okay? We're karmic cord cutting, letting go, okay, of things that are just not serving you. Maybe bad habits, bad relationships, okay? Uh, Self-sabotage, all of these things, you can set an intention to cut the cord from that, okay? For this full moon in Capricorn, and if you're interested in the Reiki, secure spot on my website, Big Empress Energy, LLC.com. Okay. I'll be going live the night of the full moon with our sound bath, a group reading, and all those beautiful things. So hopefully you guys can join. It's going to be a beautiful Sunday reset. Okay. Reiki reset that we're having. Um, and that full, that full moon, not only is it going to be net conjuncting with um, Pluto, but it's also going to be having this week mercury making a square to uranus so we're getting unexpected news we're hearing from people we haven't heard from in a long time we're talking to people we haven't talked to in a long time you know where you know this is also a week that we need to be gentle with ourselves because things like anxiety and worry and woes can really kick up, okay? A lot of that energy with Mercury and Uranus. This is a week that we want to kind of slow down, be intentional. Don't let things like, you know, impulsiveness, okay, rule you, okay? Like, don't be impulsive, all right? Um, with the Mars Uranus, you may be feeling like just finally ready to break free from something, finally ready to break free. And this is the week that you want to claim and take back your power, okay? And the way that you're thinking about things. So I do feel like this is gonna be a very exciting, very explosive week, y'all. Very, very explosive week, y'all. Um, 
the biggest thing again is that Mars making a conjunction with Uranus it's happening today and we're going to continuously feel this now this is happening in the sign of Taurus so Taurus is known for being super fixed super stubborn and set in their ways so in something that you have been very stubborn or stuck on right Mars and Uranus are saying it's time to change it up okay you cannot be doing something and knowing that it's not benefiting you or it's you're knowing that you've outgrown it in some way it doesn't resonate with you anymore so it's like at that point you have to kind of step up and do something about it Taurus is a sign that doesn't really want to change okay <laughs> doesn't really want to change will kind of continuously do something because of the dedication and loyalty that Taurus feels so much sometimes that it is at a fault and it is a detriment to themselves okay so this this is really a call a call to action okay the Mars Uranus conjunction in Taurus so if you are a Taurus if you have any planets at uh 25, 26 degrees of Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius, you're also going to be feeling this conjunction in your personal life, okay? Yeah, definitely. Whew. See what planets, what house, definitely that this is going down, but it's a big, it's, it's super, it's, a big one babes it's a big one and then um this weekend you know we are still in cancer season this is the last week of cancer season so happy birthday to all of the cancers in this world okay this is your last week okay leos are ready leos are in the cut and they're ready to go okay <laughs> um so we are still going to be in those cancer in our feels okay feeling very deeply feeling very emotional especially with the full moon being next to Pluto, our emotions can run really deep. We can have some breakthroughs as well. Like if you've been working on something, your therapy, you know, and really like trying to do some sort of rehabilitation for yourself, you can have these sort of breakthroughs this week as well. Mental breakthroughs, physical breakthroughs. Okay. But it does feel like there is intense emotions. Okay. With the full moon being next to Pluto in Aquarius. Also our intuition is going to be kicked up. Okay. Our intuition intuition is turned on tuned up okay so that's another thing am i on youtube no i'm not i'm gonna upload this to youtube after the live because i'm still facing technical difficulties with my camera i got a new cord but it's still not working so i'm really convinced that it is my computer <laughs> so that's the number one thing i have to do that's really, 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 really annoying. This has been the longest cancer season. Yeah, cancer season is always an emotional one. I feel like this one having two full moons, you know, it's extra emotional. Mars and Uranus, we have to be careful of accidents this week, okay? Car accidents, road rage, um, sharp objects, hurting yourself, cutting yourself. Like, be careful, babe. Be very, very careful this week because the Mars Uranus can be um, accidents. Okay, I'm seeing a lot of energy um, in this week of orange, sacral chakra, and this signifies to me that there's a lot of changes, okay? Like, people are going off script, is what I'm hearing, like you're going off the script. And I also feel this energy of cold turkey, someone cutting something, someone's, some situation out of your life, like you're finally ready to, to do that. You're going cold turkey on a situation, okay? And getting serious. Okay, getting serious. Okay, we got the judgment card. The first card is the judgment card. This is a card represented by Pluto. Okay, the full moon is conjunct Pluto. Judgment. Okay, so these are awakening to our realizations, awakening to our life purpose, awakening to divine direction, the ways that spirit has been showing you to change. Okay, awakening to that and making those changes. Judgment, making a final judgment call. Some of you guys have been judging yourself so, so so critically and harshly like you would never judge your friend so you have to give yourself grace as well with the judgment card you can be too critical of yourself or maybe as well too critical of other people and i feel this energy of people just constantly questioning like did i make the right decision did i make the right decision right um yes quitting 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 things um judgment it's like you finally realize it's like not serving you okay you finally realize it's not serving you um there's a higher purpose. There's a higher calling for you. 
with the judgment card. Some of you guys can be feeling like someone else is judging you. Um, someone's been judging you too, too critically or harshly. Perhaps this could be someone from your past or someone from your family that you've known for a long time. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, cause we got the six of cups card that came out. Okay. This is my mercury. That's uh, that's my, someone from the past coming back. Okay. Someone from the past going back, the lover's card, making a decision. Okay. Making a decision, seeing what else is out there. Travel plans, travel delays. Okay. Delays. Maybe there's a trip, but there's some, you're waiting to hear back from somebody or you're waiting to like tie up loose ends with the trip too. You guys, we got the wheel of fortune. Ultimate card of change, the hanged man, seeing something from a different perspective and the sun card, finally saying yes, but it's a challenge. You're saying yes to the change. Okay. Yes. I can see something from another perspective and there is an energy of this week of pause. Okay. Needing to pause, needing to slow down, needing to be more intentional. That's what this Mars and Uranus conjunction also is wanting us to do. Okay. To pause, to take a breath, to take a breather. Okay seeing what else is out there. Now, someone needs a day off, okay? You need a day off, you need a day of rotting, you need a day of resting, you need to take a time, time off, time off, time off of something. You've been burning on both ends, like burning from both ends and you're gonna be burned out, okay? We got the Four of Swords. This is really about resting and taking a break, okay? You need to take a break. Maybe as well, for some of you guys, it's just a mental break, okay? A mental break. I'm also seeing people reading, okay? Maybe this is you taking a break from social media and you're reading more, you're reading a book, okay? Maybe a fiction book, not trying to always constantly work on yourself, right? But just like kind of this kind of, just a break. Okay, baby, you are tired. Yes, babe, we're doing the week ahead. We're doing the week ahead. Okay. Um, a lot of nostalgia in general happening in cancer season, right? A lot of nostalgia, a lot of looking back. So not only maybe if you're not speaking to someone from the past or someone you haven't heard from in a long time, you're thinking of them, they're thinking of you, okay? Um, this could be a sign as well that we are reflecting on relationship habits, ways that we have shown up in relationships and seeing how have they been working, okay? Or how have they been hurting you, okay? How have they been working for you or how have they hurt you. Okay. I'm not on YouTube. I'm just on Instagram right now. Cause I really have to, my computer is not uh, picking up with the camera. Okay. So I really have to figure that out. Y'all there's so much going on all the time. So yeah, I'm just on on Instagram and then I'm going to take you, I'm going to save it. I'm upload it later on YouTube. Okay. We got to adapt. Okay. We got to adapt. Things are, this is a week of like WTFs. Okay. Lots of twists, lots of turns. And this energy of like, I didn't even see that one coming. Okay. I didn't even see that one coming. You know, we really have to take care of ourselves. Okay. Take care of our nervous system this week. We need to slow down. Okay. Slow down. And there's something that we're being called to cut the cord on. Okay. To release it, to let it go. Wheel of fortune. And as you let it go, you're inviting in more fortune. You're inviting in more blessings. Things are going to start to de be developing in a way that is going to be soothing to you. But first you have to cut the cord of what's not working. Okay. First you have to uh, like have that self-awareness as well. And I, and I feel like this energy of being sick and tired of being sick and tired. Like you're just like, you're done. Like you're just like, I can't do this anymore. Judgment card. I have to make this decision. The lover's card. Okay. Choosing love, loving yourself. Okay. Some of you guys, I do feel this energy coming through with a relationship. Okay. <clears throat> Because we have the lover's card, we have the two of cups, we have the six of cups, okay? So for some of you guys, I do feel like this is a positive in terms of like taking a trip, okay? Maybe as well with a lover, with a friend, with, in a relationship, going and like experiencing different things together and kind of shining your light and reflecting that on each other and how much you've grown and like giving people their flowers while they can still smell them, right? Sh showing and sharing what you love about the people in your life, right? Like sometimes 
we can inspire and we can motivate people and not even know, you know, because no one said anything. Okay. No one said anything. So I do feel like this is a week of smelling your flowers, smelling your flowers, baby. Okay. Um, while you can, some people here are making the decision as well, again, to be walking away from things that are just no longer serving you. And finally, you're going to be like, I am brave. I am courageous. I can, you know, adapt. I can change. I can do it for the plot. I can do it for my character development. You know, I want more for myself. And I want more for my life and I want more for the people in my life. So it's like you need to pour into your cup. You need to feed in and, and, and um, fertilize your own soil, right, before you can go and fix other people's, okay? So that's really, really important, you guys. I feel like this is a week of breakthroughs, okay? Breakthroughs. Some of you guys, it could also be breakdowns, okay? Like you're breaking down as well because um, you're tired, because you need a break, right? Because you need to rest. And full moons are always illuminating something. So we're going to be getting some clarity as well this weekend. Um, clarity, again, around these changes that you're needing to make, okay? Okay. Um, clarity around something that you want to transform. Now, this full moon is going to feel very intense and it's going to feel, you know, very powerful. And, and I feel like this is a full moon where we are also finding, awakening and strengthening our own power. Right. And I feel this energy of, um, of doing like mirror work, you know, of doing mirror work, of looking at yourself and like a lot of like self soothing and a lot of like developing like healthier coping mechanisms, right? Um, to deal with the nervousness, with the exhaustion, with the anxiety. Okay. That's what I'm seeing. Something has got to give. Okay. And we have the sun card. So if you're thinking about You've been thinking about it, leaning towards it. Spirit is saying, say yes. Okay, say yes and don't look back, baby. Do not look back. Y'all. Mm-mm. It's a new week. It's a full moon week. We got Mars and Uranus popping things off. Lots of crazy-ish happening. We're needing to really roll with it, okay? Roll with it. Give yourself grace, okay? Give yourself some grace. And this is really about being open to change. Open to change. Open to freeing yourself, okay? And to the, to the realizations, okay, that you've been having. Wow, we got the sun card again, which is a yes card, a climax, okay? Climax, full moons are a climax. Full moons are illuminating something here. And our power, moose, this is the powerful card, okay? And this full moon, I would say, is going to be a very powerful one. It's going to be a very intense one, okay? It could be also very emotional, transformational. These are all Pluto words, right? Um... Someone is saying yes to being independent. Someone is saying yes to more time that you're spending alone recuperating and with spirit. You are only in competition with yourself, okay? You should never be feeling like you're in competition with nobody but yourself. And I do feel like, again, like you're getting the flowers, you're smelling them. As soon as I said the flowers, we got the bouquet card. Oh my God. You're smelling the flowers. People are giving them to you. We got the Pluto card, which is about transformation and on the card it says judgment <laughs> and that was the first card that we pulled this week it just feels like we are maybe judging ourselves okay we're making a final judgment call we've been maybe hypercritical of ourselves okay two and this is about an awakening a rebirth a clean slate purging okay so this is the weekend that we are wanting to purge this full moon is going to be a clearing we're heeding the call to make the changes okay and it's going to be very successful i do feel we have head of the pack so you're standing out from the crowd you're standing out from the crowd we have bouquet which is about a gift some people can be getting a random gift maybe literally getting flowers or there's some reconciliation happening in relationships or with people and trusting in divine time because we have clock okay we have the clock this says perfect timing past present future 
stands the test of time. It's like if something is there, is, if something is meant for you, it's going to be there for you, right? And it's like trusting the divine timing of your life is being is so important. Knowing that, you know, sometimes things are not going in the way that you want them to go, but they're going in the way that they need to go, okay? And this energy of rejection is protection. Sometimes things don't go in the way that you wanted to, right? And it, but it goes in the way that you needed to. Yes, bouquet, bouquet, I love it. Ooh, it's giving beautiful. Some of you guys, maybe you're also getting yourself flowers, right? You're getting yourself flowers. Ooh. I feel like a very deep heaviness. A very deep heaviness. Okay, for some of you guys part of this process of purging. You know, your stomach could also be extra sensitive in this week. And we have sunstone, the card sunstone. In the uniqueness of who you are lives a world yet to be discovered. So this is about being um, your unique, your true self, okay? Uniqueness, the things that set you apart, the things that, you know, other people can't do, other people can't replicate, other people can't be you. That is your superpower, okay? And it's also like, it's okay to stand apart, okay? It's okay to stand apart from the crowd. And it's okay if other people as well do not understand you in general. Because sometimes people are set on misunderstanding you, okay? Um, and you're also like, what makes you different, what makes you unique is what makes you beautiful. This card is about opportunities, unexpected luck, and fame. Ooh, okay? Sunstone is a stone of success that shows you talents that are unique to you, draws good luck, and increases your opportunities. Additionally, it stimulates leadership qualities, unlocking your ability to dance to the beat of your own drum. The lesson here is that when you are true to yourself, success, fame, and wealth naturally follow. Your greatest asset is that no one on the planet is like you. You can do the same things as someone else in the exact same way, and so the outcomes will be different because the people are different. Okay. Likewise, you can be the most talented person in the room, but someone who is willing to look silly, if it means standing out, is more likely to be noticed despite being less talented, educated, or capable. So putting ourselves out there, okay, putting ourselves out there in, even if we're in uncomfortable situations, you know what I'm saying? Rich rising sister. And then it says successful people stand out from the crowd. And the best way of doing that is letting your weirdness out to play. You are likely receiving this card because you're seeking recognition in some way. So put yourself out there. Look for ways to increase customers or maybe you're ready to start dating. Don't get lost in the stream of familiarity by doing what everyone else is doing. Play close attention to those little details that set you apart and put them on display. Others will find these quirks to be endearing, intriguing, useful, or downright entertaining. It doesn't matter as long as it leads you to right opportunities, okay? So letting yourself stand out from the crowd, okay? Letting yourself shine and be unique. And, like, if you see in this card, one pers the person has um, blue and green eyes, okay? Someone could be seeing something in you also that you don't even see in yourself. Woo! Y'all. I can't wait for the full moon this weekend, Sunday. Karmic cord cutting Reiki, secure spot on my website, bigempressenergyllc.com. Okay, um, send me prayers. I need to fix this computer situation. Um, camera streaming, because I do want to also do our horoscopes. But I was thinking about doing them differently this, um, this week. So we're going to see. We're going to see. Bless, 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 y'all. Let's take this week. Okay, judgment, okay? Judgment is the theme. Okay. Not being too harsh and critical and judgmental of yourself, giving yourself grace, awakening to these realizations, okay? And clearing our hands of things that, you know, we've been holding on for way too long, okay? Thank you so much for the badge, my love, for the likes, the comments, share, subscribe, all the things, and you guys all them beautiful, bountiful blessings, baby. And we will talk later. Bye.